hello everyone. Um, it is Wednesday, October 21st, um, and I am here with another update video. The update portion of the video is going to be <laughs> fairly small, um, but I do have a couple of other things that I would like to do. Um, my tablet is doing something very strange right now. I think it's doing an update, a system update, even though I scheduled it for like 2 a.m. <laughs> it is not 2 a.m. It is almost 4 o'clock p.m. here. Um, I am in Maryland, um, in the United States. If any of you are close or in, you know, in Maryland as well, say hey. Um, so yeah, so I have a couple of things I want to talk about today. Um, one first thing um, I'll do is my whip update. Um, and then <laughs> we've gotten a couple of requests. Uh, and then we'll do a, a little bit about Crystal Academy. Um, I'm not going to do too much about the field trip. The field trip um, we only have a couple days left with. So I'm not going to go too much into detail with that. Um, but I do want to do a little bit on Crystal Academy, so I'll do that. Um, I think I'll do that last, just in case, you know, people aren't interested. And another thing I would like to do is go through some of my, um, I don't know what to call it. Is it like a pattern? What do we call them? Um, whip trains, whip... Whatever, it's, I just want to show a couple of the patterns that I have that I've bought um, from a couple different places. So today I'll probably do the, the patterns I have that I don't have. I have a couple of different patterns from a couple of different places. Um, the ones that I have the most of are Hades, um, Heaven and Earth Designs, and random like Etsy shop purchases. Um, so I'm going to not show those ones today. I'll do either a whole video with those two or I'll break it into two different videos because I have a lot of both of those. Um, but the other patterns I have are from like different shops and I don't have too many of them so I'll show. I think that's what I'm going to do today. I think I'll do that after. I didn't really plan this <laughs> if you can tell. Um, I'll do that after I show my progress. Um, I think I have, what is it, two more weeks, a week and a half left before the end of, um, the end of the month. What are we in? The 21st. So yeah, I have about a week and a half until the end of the month. Um, so I'm working on this piece for a week and a half more, and then I will switch. Um, so this is obviously my wedding piece. Um. I didn't do this last week, but I will insert first a picture of what it is going to look like. Um, if you aren't on Facebook, you wouldn't know, and I showed it in my first video, but I'll show it again. So here's what it's going to look like. And here is what it looked like last time. And then this, well, I'll show you a picture of what it, the part that was in the hoop. That, <laughs> so that's what I just showed, the part that was in the hoop. Um, but I'll show you where it is now. Excuse all of the threads hanging everywhere. But this is where it is now. So I finished this page up here. Um, and I started on this page down here. And that is what we're looking at. I think that's one, two, three, four, five, six pages completed. And I'm working on the seventh page. So I still have a lot, a lot more to do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually show this in the camera. Still have a lot more to do. It's very big. Um, and this is on 28 count, so it's very large, but I'm super excited about it. 
So that's all the progress I have to show you because I only work at one on one whip each month. So I know it's a little more boring than those people who do, you know, like 17 whips in a week, but, but I can't, I can't do that. Um, I work out of one like floss. I have all of the DMC collection and I just work out of the whole collection. Um, for pieces like this, because it's so confetti heavy, I don't really care if it's not the same dye a lot. Um, there's not many chunks of the same, like of one color. Um, so I don't really worry about the dye lot because you're not going to be able to tell really at all because you're never going to bump up against big blocks of color. Um, even blocks of color that looks like blocks of color, it's not, it's like four different colors in or more um, in that chunk. So I'm not so concerned about the dye lot issue. So I just work with one kind of like thing of, of floss and I don't want to have to constantly switch out projects and I kind of put all of the floss for one project or at least the page I'm working on in one box um, from the big collection and then when I do a new project I have to kind of rearrange the, the one floss box that I'm working with so I don't want to have to do that every day um, so I only do it once a month. <laughs> um, Okay, I was going to use my tablet to show you some of these, but it is now updating, so I'm just going to show you on my phone. Um, that's what I did the first video, and it seemed to be okay um, if I can get it really close to the camera. Um, so, I'll do a couple of, you know, um, my, my not my whip parade, but my pattern parade, um, I guess we'll call it. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's what it's actually called. Um, I'm sure people have done this. I have seen a couple of people do this, but a lot of the time they have like the printed piece. I don't have that. I don't print. Um, I try to save paper, so I just do as much as I can um, without printing. Um, and I use, what is this app called? Uh, X, X Stitch Plus. Um, this, this one right here. So I use that on my phone to kind of keep track of what I have um, and what I want. So we'll start with, I guess the easiest thing is just going alphabetically. <laughs> um, I don't have too many different charting companies um, pieces, but I do have quite a few pieces from each charting company that I have. So the first one I have is Charting Creations. Um, one you will have seen in my first video was what I'm working on. It's called a Canaan Sanctuary. So I'm not going to show the ones that I'm working on um, because I did show that in my first video. I'm just going to show the ones that I have in my collection. So um, this one is called Morning Glory. And again, these are all charted by Charting Creations. Ooh, I have something on my leg. This one is called Morning Glory. Hopefully this is okay and it's not too glary. I don't think there's a glare. But I love this one and it's not super vibrant in color, um, at least from the picture. Um, but I just, I love the house. I love the whole like the sun gleam. I don't know, it was it's really nice. Um, and then this one is a freebie actually. I think it's still a freebie on their Facebook page. Um, that's where I got this one. So I would recommend if you are not on the Charting Creations Facebook page, um, if you are not in the group, um, I would recommend joining the group because you can get a couple of freebies, just like Hade, how they do freebies. Um, she does, uh, Charting Creations does freebies, but I've noticed that they actually stay up a lot longer. Um, and these ones, as far as I'm aware, aren't for sale on the website because you can get them for free. I could be wrong with that, but I I believe, I haven't seen this one on the website, so I'm assuming. Um, anyway, this one is called My Magical Place. Again, it's a freebie on the Facebook page. Um, I think it's still free. Sorry if I'm wrong, but this one is so pretty. I love this one. And um, yeah, the waterfalls are just great. Um, okay, and then the last Charting Creations chart that I have, which 
will not be my last for very long, but it's the last one that I have currently. The last one is called Sunset Siesta. And this one, the colors just get me. The colors just get me. If I could get it to be straight, that would be great, but I'm still learning. <laughs> that one's just beautiful. So beautiful! Um, okay, so those are my charting creations charts. Um, and then I'm going to skip heaven and earth because we'd be here all day. And I, that could be its own video. Um, so I'll go on to long dock samplers. So I bought the pattern. Okay, I never thought I was a sampler person. Like, mm -mm, never. Nope. Did not want to do them. Not interested. And then Crystal Academy happened and we did a table. We did like a stitcher mixer at the beginning of the semester. Or at the beginning of the term. And... Um, the people at the table for like the samplers were like posting all of their long dogs and I was like oh, they're a lot prettier stitched in my opinion than they are just like looking at the picture um and also not all of them have like the whole alphabet I, and I'm not big on having like the whole alphabet in the piece and I don't know it just never appealed to me to just stitch an alphabet um so anyway I went on to the long dog samplers website and yeah okay there are a couple of them that I, I I liked a lot so I bought one <laughs> and then I proceeded to buy fabric for it the same day um I bought a hand dyed by Stephanie fabric I'm still waiting I'm totally okay waiting for it because I wasn't planning on starting it until after No New Starts. Um, well, I planned on starting it, actually I did plan on starting it whenever I got the fabric, which I knew wouldn't be until probably like next year. But now, I'm fine getting the fabric, waiting, because I would like to buy a silk to work on it um, with. I've never worked with silk, but I hear it's lovely. So I would like to buy some silks to work on this piece on the fabric. Um, and I'm okay with, you know, taking the year to just kind of figure out exactly what I want to do. Um, and then I'll start it in 2022 when we're not doing no new starts anymore. <laughs> um, anyway, so this one is Castles in the Air. And I love this so much. And I like that there's not like a whole alphabet. It just says dream a little dream with me at the bottom. I love that. And I got a dark kind of like burgundy hand dyed fabric. Um, and I'm going to do either a off white silk, a cr like a cream or something, or maybe a gold um, silk because that could be really pretty. I thought about just doing it all in like metallic, but then I was like, oh, I don't know if I could do metallic for the whole, the whole entire piece. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to do like a gold, um, silk or a cream off white something. Um, anyway, that's my long dog. It's the only one I have. I'll probably be getting more, but for now, because I don't want to tempt myself, um, to start anything new, I'm trying to be good and not buy anything. We'll see how long that lasts. If I'm not allowed to start anything, I'm going to be buying stuff. Um, okay, and then I'll skip the Etsy stuff. And then I do have a couple of Mystic Stitches. Again, in my first video, I mentioned that Mystic Stitch was like the first um, charting company that I found when I first started stitching full coverage pieces. Um, so I bought kind of a lot like not a lot I bought like a couple in one fell swoop because I was excited about it so I bought the dogs piece that I showed in my first video and then I bought four other pieces pretty much at the same time um, and they seem to always have sales going on so I don't know um, I'm also part of their Facebook page less I feel like that's a little bit less active um, than a lot of the other pages but on occasion I will see some people post um, on that site so or on that Facebook group so this one is called ASOS Harbor I think that's how you say it ASOS Harbor um, and it's really pretty I just I find that really pretty um, I love like water and I don't love the beach but I love 
like water and I don't know it's fun and I like more vibrant things um, and I love like gardens and things like that so you'll see um, <laughs> and wine <laughs> random um, I mean I like to drink wine but I also love like pictures with wine glasses and wine bottles in them and I don't know weird but anyway um, this one is called backyard entrance this one's I think the one of the tamer not, I don't know, say tamer but like the less exciting ones that I have I guess I don't know but I think it's pretty um, and that gold border around each one of these won't get stitched it's just like the way that they have it on the website um, but yeah that one's backyard entrance and then we have this is one of the only I think more like holiday themed I'm not a holiday themed stitcher for the most part I don't stitch on things that have like holiday themes but I do own a couple of them um, because I do like them I don't necessarily like non full coverage holiday stuff but if it's a full coverage piece and it's got like a holiday theme on it I'm usually pretty okay with it um, it depends I know a lot of people like I know Donna Gelsinger on um, paid she does a lot of like Christmas time stuff it depends for me um, so I don't know I'm not a big holiday stitcher um, I'm more lean towards Halloween than Christmas but all of that to be said this is like the only Christmas one of the only Christmas patterns that I have um, and it's not even I mean it's, it is but it's not um, so this one is called holiday cheer and the black on this one it's a lot it's all up at the top um, anyway that's holiday cheer and then this is what I was talking about with the wine um, this one is called tasting time it's fun and those are my mystic stitch patterns Okay, I promise we're actually pretty close to being done um, and it's only been 17 minutes so um, and if you didn't want to watch thanks for watching the earlier part <laughs> um, if you don't want to continue watching the, the stash parade um, okay so this one was a little bit new to me so I know that I had seen at one point Nanny Nanny I think her name is Nanny Thomas um, she had been an artist on Haid and then her charts got retired on Haid and she started selling them separately. I loved the ones that I had seen people stitching from when Haid was charting her patterns. I was like, oh, I really want some of them. And so I found, you know, like I just said, I found out that she had started charting her own. And I went on and I was looking and I bought one. I bought one purely because I didn't know if they had, they worked with Pattern Keeper. Uh, they don't really they kind of do but not really um, they'll load in but <laughs> you can't you can't search symbols easily um, it does not it looks very strange but um, maybe I just need to reload and try again but um, as of right now what I can tell you is they'll load in but searching for symbols doesn't really work um, it says it will search for symbols but like seven different symbols loads as the same color and it's just it's very it's frustrating so anyway um, I bought one like I said and this one is called Yukikaze I think that's how you say this um, and oh my god I love it I love it I love it so much like it's beautiful she's beautiful isn't she beautiful I mean her whole arm is tattooed and she's got like this little dragon on her hip and I have something on my computer showing up right in front of me okay um I, I just love this when I'll ever stitch it I don't know and reading the chart is a little bit difficult so it's not gonna stop me from buying more probably at this point I've only bought the one so that's the only one I have bought by Nanny Thomas so it's Nanny Thomas illustrations um, if you want to go buy some of her work um, and then I also have a couple of pain-free crafts charts now originally I bought two and I was like that's fine I have too many charts I need to stop and then I think it was only like a couple weeks ago 
I saw a post on Facebook, on the Pain Free Crafts Facebook group. I need to get out of some of these charting companies groups because this is the problem. <laughs> um, I'm in the groups, I see the posts, and I'm like, I need that. Um, but I really don't. I really, I just don't. Um, so the first two that I bought, I'll actually go in order of these ones because I, I know when I bought them and I didn't buy them at the same time. Um, whereas most of these I buy all kind of like at the same time. Um, so the first two that I bought were one of the like alcohol dragons. Um, I don't know if that's actually what they're called, but like, oh, drink dragons. That's what they're called. Drink dragons. Um, there's a lot of them and they're all by Stanley Morrison. Um, I want all of them, but I only have two right now because <laughs> I can't justify buying. I think there's like, I don't know, like 20 of them or something. I can't justify buying 20 of them all at the same time. So I'm going to go slowly. Um, so the first two that I bought, this one is Red Wine Dragon. I love it. And guess what's next? White, ri White Wine Dragon. And I initially bought these two first because we have a wine rack like area down in our dining room. And I thought, oh, I could stitch these and put them up like next to the wine rack, one on one side, the other on the other side, because they face two directions, like they could face each other. And I was like, that's a great idea. And I don't know what I was thinking, because I don't even think we're going to still be in this house by the time I ever get them stitched. <laughs> if I ever get them stitched. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know what I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so those are those two. And then on Facebook the other day, I saw a post. Somebody was like, I, or no, it was um, Sarah, Sarah Payne. Um, she posted that they were sending out these kits, right? So they, she takes pictures of the kits that they're sending out. And one of them was so needed. Oh my gosh. I was like, I need that in my life. Um, and it is called Apocalypse Princesses. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love the princesses and they're in the apocalypse time are you kidding me? Hello? I needed this in my life. Um, <laughs> so I saw that and then like right underneath of that was another one where it's here's a new chart. Really? Really? One after the other? Really? So same day. I was like, okay, I'll buy this one too. So it's the Day to Night North America. Um, and this is what it looks like. Minus the white border, but... I didn't feel like taking that out. So there's that one. And I love that one too. And again, I have like all of these imported into Pattern Keeper. Um, because if I don't do it when I buy them, I'll probably forget and just never do it. <laughs> okay, and then so I have a couple from the Cross Stitch Studio. Um, that was all my pain-free crafts ones. Um, so now we'll do the Cross Stitch Studio. So I bought all of these again at the same time. Um, and they're all actually, two of them are kind of, kind of the same. Anyway, you'll notice a theme here. <laughs> um, so the first one um, is called Fairy Tale Cottage. These are humongous also, by the way. They're like nine... 800 stitches by 700 or something ridiculous. They're giant, but it's gorgeous. Um, they're giant. That one's Fairy Tale Cottage. Giant. I mean, they're all giant. Like, I don't have one. And I didn't choose, like, the giant charts. You know how, like, hey, you can do, like, supersize or regular? And these ones are just all giant, <laughs> which I'm not mad about. Um, but it just means that I'm just never going to finish any of them. <laughs> Maybe not start any of them, I don't know. Um, this one is called Hiding Place. Love this one. I don't, I mean, I love all of them, but I love this one, the colors. This one is Hiding Place. And then we have, this one is called Light of Hope. Again, the colors, the colors though. Um, and that wave, I mean, it's like perfect. This one's Light of Hope. 
And then the last one I have is slightly, I don't know, it's slightly like a different style. Um, but I love it. This one is called Yellow Victorian. Again, it's a Victorian house. I love Victorians. They're so pretty. And the sun's coming out finally, so I'm going to be able to see some things a little bit better. Um, and those are all of the charts that I have from the Cross Stitch Studio. Um, I plan on getting more. I mean, I always plan on getting more from everywhere, but, you know, what can you do? And then I have a couple of Tilton Crafts. Um, I think four, four of these are going to look fairly similar because they're the same kind of theme. Um, and then there's a couple of others just in there. So we'll go through and you'll see which ones I'm talking about are like the same but different. Um, so the first one is called Amazing Grace. Oh my gosh. Can you just, with that piano, I swear. So um, I'll tell you a little backstory about why I love <laughs> these pianos um, as I go through these. And I'll just insert names. Um, so this one's Aria by Firelight. Again, another piano. So my dad is not really a piano player, but he um, majored in music in school. And he is, um, he majored in composing. And so he, you know, has been just, he just fiddles with it now. He doesn't actually, you know, he doesn't work in music or anything. Um, but growing up, we had a piano and my dad in the morning on the weekends, like it was a weekend and he'd be playing piano in the morning and I'm like, I'm still trying to sleep. Um, but I grew up playing piano. He plays piano. You know, it's kind of like, it's a thing. Um, so I just love pianos. His first wife, who was my music teacher, that's a, that's a long story. <laughs> um, she was a piano teacher. Um, so it's just, you know, piano kind of, it's a thing. And um, my mom is a dancer. And so my dad used to compose music. She's a dance teacher. Um, and she was in companies growing up. Um, and so he used to compose music for her and he would use the piano. Um, and so, you know, piano just means a little bit to me. Um, so I have a few p piano pieces and it was the perfect company. It was Tilt Tilton Crafts. And I was like, this is great. All of them are just in one place. So anyway, that one was Aria by Firelight. This one is different. Um, this one is called Gotham Sirens. Love it. Harley is like queen. I mean, Catwoman and Poison Ivy are fine, but gotta love me some Harley. Um, that one's Gotham Sirens. And then this one, it is Halloween. Um, it is October. It's almost Halloween. And who who couldn't who can't who doesn't who who doesn't want hocus pocus in their life so hocus pocus <laughs> actually read a couple of facts um the other day about hocus pocus i think it was enchanted stitches um the group enchanted stitches on facebook uh that posted it um because i think the movie this month is hocus pocus which i'm not watching until halloween um, I don't watch Hocus Pocus any other day of the year except for on Halloween. So, <sighs> so anyway, there was a fact about um, the moths. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was an interesting post. So if you're in that group, you should go check it out. Um, this one is called Sailor Moon Squad. I love this one. And it's funny because I was not a big like Sailor Moon person growing up like I know I've watched a couple of Sailor Moon episodes and like read a couple things but I wasn't really a Sailor Moon person but I could I just loved this I don't know I just <laughs> I loved it um and then here's another piano one so this one is called Sonata by Firelight so we had the Aria by Firelight and this one's Sonata by Firelight so again another piano look at the little cat I'm more of a dog person, but we had cats growing up too, so actually that cat looks just like one of the cats we had when I was growing up. So, um, and then we have 
Sunlight Sonata. So the last one was Sonata by Firelight. This one's Sunlight Sonata. Um, also gorgeous. Oopsies. Love that. And then I have one more, and this one is actually also very different, um, and it's called Edge of Forever, and it's a longer piece, so it's shorter, but it's longer. Um, so this one is Edge of Forever. And there's like a girl and a tiger over over here, um, and then the like house thing, uh, little islands in the air. It's really cool. So those are the charts that I wanted to show you. And how did I make it to 30 minutes? I don't know. Those are the charts I wanted to show you that I own. Um, I think next time we can do maybe Heaven and Earth. Um, and we'll see how long that goes for. And if it goes on, if it's not like a long enough video that I feel like is long enough. I think 30 minutes is usually long enough, so it'll probably be about 30 minutes, but if I end up deciding I'll do two, I can do my Etsy purchases as well. But that is, I think, where I'm going to end with the stitching portion, um, and now I'm going to talk about Crystal Academy. So if you are not interested and you aren't part of Crystal Academy and you don't care. <laughs> um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for coming back. Thank you if you have subscribed or liked or commented. Um, I've tried to get back to or at least like I think everyone's comments. Um, so thank you so much and if you want to hear a little bit about the Crystal Academy stuff then keep watching. Um, so Crystal Academy. I've had a couple of people, and I've noticed actually as well, that people are having a little bit of trouble saying some of the spells um, and knowing what the spells do. So I'm here today <laughs> to tell you. I think this is mainly for Angie. You're welcome, Angie. Um, <laughs> so I am going to tell you how to say the spells. I'm going to go through actually even some of the spells we haven't learned yet. Um, they're posted in the term one info um info it's not info it's info um they're posted there but i am going to say kind of all of them and we'll just run through it so this is not going to be a very quick a very sh long part um i am going to be reading a little bit um just so i can get make sure i have all of them done and the last one is the one that I'm going to mess up. Even I will mess it up um, because it's weird. <laughs> it's like not even close to a word in my opinion, but um, it works. It does the spell. It does. And I'll kind of go through what they are um, just so that, you know, we're locking it in. Y'all, this is like a study tool. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so the term one spells that we will be learning or have already learned um we start with invocasi so invocasi we haven't learned yet um, and this is a basic healing spell so it will heal like a, a minor burn um, a cut a scrape a scratch but if you cut off your finger or you cut off your leg it's not going to heal that so don't go willy-nilly cutting pieces of yourself off or you know whatever don't do that um only we can heal you if you do that, so just don't. Um, and then we have Oblitus. Oblitus is something that you can, a spell you can cast to shatter something um, or explode something, so I don't know what the scenario would be that you want to shatter something or explode something, but it's possible. Um, if it's like maybe something's being thrown at you and you just want to explode it, you can. Um, and then the counter these two are counter spells. Um, so the counter to that is Mendigo. Um, and Mendigo is you repair an item. So after you've exploded it, you can then put it back together with Mendigo. Um, we have not learned that one either. Um, and then we have Ignitica. Ignitica is you can burn something. You can burn enough to even set it on fire. Um, you know, there's kind of a couple of ways to use that. Um, 
And then Phycopimi is the ice side. Um, so you can create like these claws of frosty energy um, and kind of cast ice around the area. Just don't go casting that casting Phycopi me like willy-nilly because then the classmates, all your classmates will be just sliding around everywhere and we don't want that. <laughs> um, and then people seem to get this one right, they know how to say this one at least, is Captifoam. Um, Captifoam is where you conjure, here's where people I think get a little bit confused. Um, it's not just moving ropes and moving like things to entangle people, it's actually you can uh, conjure the ropes. So they don't need to e exist in the area, um, or you might not see them in the area, but it can conjure them. So like vines, um, you can conjure vines, you can conjure things that like look like ropes or could be used as ropes um, to then snare and entangle the thing that you are trying to snare and entangle. Um, so <sighs> students like to use this one on other students. We need to stop doing that. <laughs> um, and then the next one is Transulo. Transulo is you unlock things. So you can unlock a door, you can unlock a box, you can unlock, you know, whatever it is. So you can use it to unlock things. Um, and then Discipula is um, some you can lock something. So it's like the counter to that one. So if something is locked, you can unlock it. Or, I'm sorry, if something is unlocked, you can lock it. That's discipula. You can lock something. Um, and then the next two we haven't learned yet either. Um, they are um, agnosco. Um, and agnosco is kind of a little bit different. Um, this one will be used, let's say if you lost something, um, you'd use this spell to help you find it. It won't find it, but it will help you find it. So if you've, let's say you've lost something and you need a little bit of help finding whatever you lost, um, so it will give you one part of the location. So it'll give you either the latitude or the longitude. Not both, but one of the two on where it is. So you can get one of the two directions. You can, you can get like, oh, it's, you know, let's just say it's a grid. It's in like row C. Great. Okay. So you now only have to worry about, you know, is it row C A, B, I mean, row C, one, two, three, whatever. So that one is Ignasco. Um, and we will be learning that. And then the last one, I'm going to say this wrong the first time, but I'm probably going to say it right the second time. Um, Magenterullus. Um, actually, I said it right the first time. <laughs> Magenterullus is, I think it was Rita Marie who said this, the one video in the, one of the homework videos, she was like, essentially you're dropping someone's pants. Yes, you, you drop their pants. Um, so, so essentially, if you're in like a battle, so we do spell scrimmages, um, spell slings, and when this one is finally learned, you can use this one to drop someone's pants and they lose their, their place. So if they're currently trying to stitch for a spell, you drop their pants, they have to stop, put up a new start picture from where they were um, in their stitching, put up a new start picture, and start again. So they can't continue because they've lost their place because they're trying to pull their pants back up because you know, how rude. You just pulled my pants down. <laughs> so that is the last spell we'll be learning this term. Um, and I think we only have two classes left. Yeah. We have Defense Against Devious Spells um, and Scrying and Self-Improvement um, are the last two classes we have. So we'll learn those, I think it was four, four spells. Invocasi, Mendigo, um, Nasco and yeah so we have the four spells to learn in two more classes um so that's how you say that's how you say the the spells um practice even I sometimes need to practice so um practice just don't you know if you're gonna blow something up don't do it until we learn how to 
put it back together. We haven't learned that spell yet, so just don't be blowing things up yet. Um, okay, I think that's it. I think that's all I was going to talk about today. Um, again, thank you for everybody who is participating in our field trip right now. Um, it's been it's been interesting. Um, I know a couple of students have gotten lost here and there, and hopefully we've been able to put you back on the right track. Um, and sorry if you've been lost for longer, longer because we, you know, we do sleep. So if we wake up and it's been like 18 hours or something since you've been lost, hopefully we'll set you straight and uh, you'll be on your way. So anyway, thank you so much for everybody who is enjoying Crystal Academy, who has joined, who has um, taken part in some way. Um, and also aside from Crystal Academy, because we're not there right now, but I mean, this is going to be posted in the group. So um, everybody who has liked, subscribed, commented on my videos here, thank you so much for your support. Um, I really have enjoyed doing them. And um, I know not every week I won't, I won't have anything, a lot to say some weeks, but this week just ended up being a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. But I did include, you know, my little stash parade, so that was fun. Um, thank you again so much. I hope everybody has a great day. Um, it's finally sunny out. It's been kind of cloudy and gloomy all day, so it's finally sunny out. Um, I'm going to go take the dog. I took the dog on a walk earlier, but I'm going to take the dog outside and maybe play a little while. Um, and, yeah, I will be back either later... In a couple of days, if I decide to do a stitch with me, I've been thinking about doing that soon-ish here. Um, if I don't do a stitch with me, I will see you next Wednesday, um, hopefully for, you know, my weekly update video. And then the one after that, you'll be seeing a whole new project. So, <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah. So, thank you so much, and have a wonderful stitchy day or night. You know, whatever. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody.